Hi, my name is Steven from 3D Printer Academy, and in this video, I'll show you how to emboss text onto a curved surface using Blender. So once you have your text, go ahead and move it into position in front of the object in which you want to embed it onto. So I'm going to place it right here in front of my object. And now what we'll need to do is convert the text object, which right now I can still type into a mesh. So go up to object and go to convert and then convert it to a mesh. Now if we press tab to go into edit mode, you'll see that our mesh doesn't look very good. Press tab again to go back into object mode. Now go over here to the blue wrench and we're going to add a decimate modifier and we're going to change it to planar. And then we're going to click this down arrow and then go ahead and click apply. Now if we press tab to go into edit mode again, you'll see our mesh is much cleaner. So now we can move ahead and go on to embossing it onto our object. So we're going to select the text object again and once again go to the blue wrench, add modifier, and we're going to add a shrink wrap modifier. And we're going to select the target as our sphere or whatever curved object you have. And now you'll notice that the text doesn't really look very good because we need to change the wrap mode to project and switch it to negative. And now you'll see our text is wrapping uh, very nicely. And now go ahead and click apply right here, this little down arrow, and then click apply. And now we need to give the text some thickness. So once again, we'll add another modifier. And this time we're going to add a solidify modifier and we'll increase the thickness and change the offset from negative to positive. All right, now make it just about that thick right there. And then go ahead and click apply once again. So now we have our text wrapped around our object. Uh, we need to join the two objects together. Select the sphere or your main object, go to add modifier. And this time we're gonna add a Boolean modifier and we're gonna uh, select a union to join the two objects together and select our text as the object we want to join to. Now you notice it looks a little bit glitchy it's because now we have uh, the original text object on top of the sphere with the text on it. Go ahead and click the down arrow and click apply and then it should load. And then now if you select just the main, the original text, we could press X on the keyboard and delete. And now you should be left with a very good looking uh, text embossed onto a curved surface. I hope that helps. Again, my name is Steven from 3D Printer Academy and happy printing.